नमस्ते एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू टू दिस न्यू एपिसोड अयोध्या अ सिटी स्टीप्ड इन द सीक्रेट टेपेस्ट्री ऑफ हिंदू ट्रेडिशंस इमर्जेस एज अ ल्यूमिनस ज्वेल इन द एंशिएंट क्रॉनिकल्स ऑफ भारत दिस हैलोड रेम रेजोनेटिंग विद द इकोस ऑफ द इलस्ट्रियस रामायण क्रेडिल्स द लेगेसी ऑफ किंग दशरथ रेन and stands as the proud capital of Koshala Desh kingdom it is described as a prosperous as paradise in the poetic verses of yatharvaveda ayodha exudes an ethereal charm that transcends earthly realms nestled on the right bank of the river saryu ayodhya's origin traces back to the revered sage of manu bestowed with the divine grace by the lord vishnu In the annals of time it was embraced by the radiant surya dynasty of the ikshvakus evolving into one of the seven sacred cities of ancient bharat a testament to its spiritual significance as per as the skand purana beyond its hindu sanctity ayodhya unfolds as a harmonious confluence of faith but this once fine soul is in its embrace as the buddha himself Grace is in Veron's during his spiritual sojourns. Jainism too claims a profound connection with five Tirthankaras entering the world within Ayodhya's sacred precincts. Sikh gurus including the venerable Guru Nanak Dev enrich a spiritual tapestry with their divine teachings. Ayodhya's allure transcends religious boundaries beckoning with its cosmopolitan embrace. In 14 CE the city etched its mark on the korean chronicle samyuk yusa recounting the tale of suri ratna a local princess whose maritime journey to korea echoes in the hearts of many south koreans the union of suri ratna and king subru one of the karak dynasty birth a transcendent connection immortalized in a memorial constructed in 2001 a don with the stone which was transferred from the oceans from south korea the union of suri ratna and king suru of the karak dynasty birth a transcendent connection immortalized in a memorial constructed in 2001 a don with stone which traversed oceans from south korea in the resplendent narrative ayodhya history intertwines with traditions spirituality converges with cosmopolitanism and the city stands as a testament to the enduring spirit that transcends the savages of time let us take a historical perspective on ayodhya this episode dwells into the historical evolution of lord ram cult and the significance of ayodhya shedding light on different perspective and historical evidences left historians argue that lord ram was a mythical figure Ayodhya a legendary city and present day Ayodhya was originally Saketa a Buddhist stronghold in contrast scholars of Sanskrit epics trace the antiquity of Lord Ram's story to the 5th century BC when oral transmission of Lord Ram katha began written versions such as Valmiki's Ramayana likely emerged in the 4th or the 3rd century BC some scholars even propose an earlier date possibly the 8th or the 6th century BC by the 4th and the 5th century AD Lord Ram cult gained prevalence evolving from an epic hero to an incarnation of Vishnu and eventually to a supreme reality literally sculptural and epigraphic evidence suggests that Lord Ram's divinity was acknowledged early on though the temple cult took time to develop Kalidasa a prominent poet of the imperial guptas emphasized lord ram's divinity in the raghuvamsha inscriptions from the 4th century ad such as those of prabhavita gupta indicate the existence of lord ram centric sanctuaries the muslim invasions brought about a deep seated connection between lord ram and resistance against the invaders gurjara ruling houses such as the mandol line claim descendant from lord rama's brother lakshmanas emphasizing the duty to prevent intruders the medieval era witnessed hindu kings styling themselves as lord ram incarnates symbolizing the struggle against the evil forces the chalukya and the solanki king 
Jai Simbha Siddharaja and Prithviraja III of Ajmer were identified as Lord Ram incarnates in their fight against invaders. The Lord Rama cult underwent a second stage of evolution with Lord Ram being depicted as a form of Vishnu. Sculptural examples from Khajrao from 950 to 970 an ocean near Jodhpur, 11th century AD, showcased Lord Ram holding the four emblems of Vishnu. Inscriptions confirm the prevalence of Lord Ram images in the Tamil region by the 10th century AD. Temples exclusively dedicated to Lord Ram, such as the one in Ayodhya, emerged, signaling the rise of Lord Ram worship across the country. Lord Ram devotion gained momentum during the medieval period particularly after the Muslim invasions. Himadri, a minister in the Yadava kingdom, provided liturgical instructions for the worshipping Lord Ram. Lord Ram's story was retold in vernaculars on the outskirts of Delhi's Sultanate in various languages. Hindu kings facing Muslim armies identified themselves as Lord Ram incarnates, reflecting the integration of political and religious symbolism. If we talk about the Hindu attachment to Ayodhya, the intensity of Hindu attachment to the sacred spaces, especially Ayodhya, is often overlooked by left academics. The Hindu rulers aim to protect North Bharat's holy places from devastations by the Muslim invaders. Numerous vandalized sites continued to be revered by Hindus. Visitors like William Finch and Joseph Taifen Taheler documented Hindu devotion to Ayodhya, indicating a long-standing connection that persisted throughout centuries. The historical evolution of Lord Ram cult reveals a complex interplay of traditions, literature, art and politics. The dispute over Ayodhya is deeply rooted in the varied perceptions of Lord Ram's historicity and the cultural and the religious significance attached to the site. Understanding the multifaceted evolution of Lord Ram cult provides valuable insights into the complex historical narrative surrounding Ayodhya, transcending the contemporary political and the legal debates. Thank you. Please like and share our videos. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.